It is officially signing day and I have an extremely tough decision on my hands. And many schools offer me scholarships and also many schools that I could walk on to because I'm also the number one electrical engineer in the nation. Originally, I wanted to stay home and play for the Vols. I was really insulted at Coach Heupel's offer of a third string spot on the roster. I also had a desire to play for big football schools like Alabama and Ohio State. I also knew my chances of playing at those schools and contributing to its success was pretty low. And finally, my mom was extremely angry after the state championship. I wanted to make her happy and make the family proud. So I've decided to commit to the University of Stanford becoming a Cardinal. They offer me a full ride which covers my engineering undergrad degree which costs almost 100k a year. And on the football side, although I am the backup job, I believe I can take over the starting job as Stanford have had two straight 3-9 and seasons. I'm sitting behind redshirt senior Ari Patu and the preseason polls have us ranked 51st in the nation. So we gotta turn things around at Stanford and we start our first practice after learning the playbook with the scout team offense This is my first practice So I'm still learning the receivers how they run how they catch what the timing is and you can tell the chemistry wasn't there I had some pretty bad misses right here on the comeback That's way outside and then right up the middle of the post row and I miss him low after the first practice I remained as the backup as I'm still learning the playbook I'm still getting used to living out on the West Coast without my family new class schedule and everything and I did not know It rained this hard on the West Coast. It's our second practice before our upcoming game against San Jose Jose State University. This is the last chance I have to get a start for this first game, so I need to have a good practice. And the struggles continue as I throw a terrible anticipation pick right there. You know, I thought maybe our slot receiver could outrun the linebacker, but we move on. All right, very next one, I make a nice throw on the run to my boy Wilson again. He's becoming one of my favorite targets. We are running out of reps. I need to make some big plays to get the starting job before our opener. Play action here. I take a shot deep to see my receiver is a stab. I took a chance, and that receiver repaid my faith. I actually don't know his name yet. I haven't met him yet. But on the very next play, I throw a screen pass to my running back, and that is how you learn names, Mr. Barrow. Catches in back-to-back -back touchdowns for us. We are now getting close to winning that starting drop, and it is the last rep of practice. Last play, I take another deep shot, putting faith in the same receiver. But the DB makes a fantastic play on the ball, and we are the backup for the opener. I haven't been a backup since my junior year in high school. This brought back a lot of bad memories, and it was even worse watching Patu work. It's the only time I got on the field was as a holder after Patu cashed in touchdown after touchdown. Patu ends up blowing out SGSU in the first game, putting up 44 on their defense. I knew I had an uphill battle to win the starting job. Next game was against Army. We now have a position battle versus Patu. As I've been impressing coaches with my academics and my film room habits, They're giving me a chance and I cannot let it slip. Why is it raining again? 15 throws to the side to start. If we start out with a quick slant concept, I hit the receiver up the middle, come back again with slants on our backside this time, two for two to start practice. Now I started throwing the balls that I threw in high school, right, right up the seams. But we have not done enough so far to convince coach that I deserve to be the starter until I threw this juicy peach. That throw and catch open mouths right there as I come back on play action and roll out to my right and I hit my receiver up the sideline. Last rep of practice, last chance to convince coaches that I should be the starter. I'm rolling to my right and I find my receiver back to my left who makes a spectacular catch and that officially made me the starting cue be of the University of Stanford. When this news broke out, I became the man of the camp. If you had an ABG girlfriend, she's mine now. But with the popularity came with a lot of pressure. I have to carry the torch that John Elway and Andrew Love passed down. Expectations were high as we begin our debut of our collegiate journey at Army. My dad grew up in the Chinese Navy, so there was some extra tension with this game. First snap, we take under center. I read zone coverage, so I hit the comeback to my boy McKee for our first first down of our college career. But on third and nine, they rally and they get me down for a sack. We have to punt the ball. Defense gets us the ball back, though. I'm rolling out to my right, using my legs, generating time for my receivers to get open, and I find a first down to my boy McKee. Second and goal. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I step up in the pocket, and I flip it to McKee for our first college touchdown. But low key, our debut has has been pretty disappointing so far. As in the third quarter, we are only up by four. I evade a sack for a safety, but then I take a sack. It's a terrible safety there, and of course, Army responds with a field goal to take the lead. My dad is definitely considering drowning his son at the moment watching this game play. Play action, we duck another sack. The O-line is not blocking at all, but we hit the open receiver for a first down. Fourth quarter here, second and long. We find the hitch route. McKee breaks a tackle and gets me a huge yak to set us up nicely in the red zone. He reminds me a little bit of New Year. 
in third and seven. I don't see any receiver open. O-line can't hold up, and we take another sack. O-line has done a terrible job blocking for us today, but we get the field goal to take the lead. Army marches all the way down to first and goal, and they hit a touchdown right over the middle. No idea what my defense is doing there, but we are at upset alert. This is one of the worst debuts I could imagine, but we have a chance to save it on this two-minute drill. Second and nine, I drop back. I look up the right sideline, and who else but McKee? He makes a big game, 46-yard reception down the right sideline, which puts us in prime position to score. Second and three, I'm rolling out to my right, looking for an open receiver. I attract defenders with my legs. I flip it out to my running back for a 14-yard game. Time to get clutch. Second and goal. I see a nice route, but my receiver drops it. Third and goal. Coach calls four verts. I gotta take a shot to McKee. He deserves it, but the DB makes a good play. Which brings us to fourth and goal. Can this one throw save us from a horrendous offensive debut? Army drops eight. I look in the corner. There's space, and I underthrow it. There was space in the back corner of the end zone, but the ball was too flat. And we get upset by Army. We only put up 13 points on the scoreboard, and we start our college career 0 and 1. My job is instantly in jeopardy, so I needed to come out with a good practice session. I felt like all the eyes were on me. Now, every little move that I did was gonna be inspected, especially with all the expectations and losing such a bad game. But moving on, we retain our starting job, and it is our home debut against Arizona State. You know the baddies are in the crowd. Second and 10, I'm looking to push the ball deep. And my receiver makes a spectacular catch, mossing the DB, which then led us to this play right here, finding McKee wide open in the end zone for our first home touchdown. However, after the first drive, the offensive struggles continue. We're talking drops on third down. We're talking multiple sacks. And by multiple, I meant back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back sacks for a safety. Emory Jones scores a walk-in touchdown to put Arizona State up two possessions. And the struggles did not stop there. Another sack taken, followed by another drop out the flat route. I'm getting frustrated. Surely by this point, we won't have any more drops on third down. Oh, wait! Another drop. And to top it all off, we throw our first collegiate interception. And we lose our second straight game to the Sun Devils. Yes, I played a terrible game, but my offensive teammates did not help at all. Play calling's off. Coach has yet to call an option run in our first two games. Receivers can't seem to get much separation. And our O-line can't block a soul right now. This offense is clearly struggling. Next game against Washington State, and it's more of the same. Crucial drop on a deep bomb, and we only score six points in the first half. This is absolutely unacceptable. We are losing by two possessions to a one and three football team. Second and three here. Receivers getting no separation at all, and I take another sack. The coach has seen enough. He yanks me up the game as I have only put up three field goals against one and three Washington State. An absolute horrific start to my collegiate career as we not only lose the game, but our starting job as well. Coach rolls with Patu for the next game as my confidence is at an all-time low. But he throws an interception here and the struggles continue. Maybe it's not the quarterback's fault as we only put up three points in the first half. The fans around the stadium are booing. This is not what they want to see and Coach subs me back in for the second half. I feel like the disrespect has gone too far. It's time to show everyone why I was one of the top recruits out of my class. I am not at Stanford for my academics. I am here for football. Second and eight, I'm rolling out to my right receiver, still not getting open, so I decide to do it myself. I started to use my legs, and that started generating open opportunities. As on second and goal, we finally cash in a touchdown to McKee to take the lead against number 20, Washington. Third and five, I'm moving the legs again. I'm rolling to my left, throwing back to my right, and McKee makes a grab of his life. What a catch right there, and now the crowd is back involved. 13-7, less than two minutes left on third down. Coach calls a handoff. We hand it off to our running back, and he starts to take off. It's a race to the end zone. Who will get there? Touchdown, Stanford. And we get our first collegiate win against Washington. Still plenty of room to improve on for sure, but it's nice to get a win above our ranked school. Brandon Barrow gets player of the game, and let's see if this win right here turns our season around. We head into a rainy night in Utah. The number 18 ranked school in the nation. We started with a nice kick return to put us in good field position. Third and 11. I'm moving my eyes to the right, but I throw back to my left for the first down right there. I definitely fooled the safety with my eyes. Even though they are small, Trust me, he got fooled. We hand the ball off on first and goal to my boy Barrow for an easy touchdown to silence the crowd on the road. Second quarter, we are up 10 to 3. Coach calls play action. I'm rolling to my right. And I throw a deep ball. Moon shot right in the bread basket for six. That's my official arrival to college football. 53 yard touchdown on a 
dime to McKee. This is what Cardinal fans have been waiting to see. This is what they've been waiting for. First and 10 in the second quarter. We are up big against Utah. I hit McKee on the outside and he lowers the shoulder, makes a great move. He is running to the pylon and he gets tackled right before the end zone. But on the half yard line, I hand it off to my boy Barrow and he cashes in another touchdown. The offense is coming together at the perfect time as I hit it up the seams to my tight end. We're back down in the red zone and we gotta feed the beast. That boy Barrow has been running like an absolute maniac. They cannot tackle him and we get another touchdown. 31 points on the board. I roll out to my right and I find my receiver deep down the field. We're developing chemistry. Second and goal to make it a four possession game. I'm rolling to my right. I draw attention from defenders and I flip it out to my receiver for another touchdown. 45 points away against number 18 Utah in their stadium on a rainy night. This is what Stanford fans wanted to see. Really big win for us as I throw for 404 yards and two touchdowns. And after stomping UCLA at home, we are starting to build momentum heading into our toughest game of the year. Number 12 ranked Oregon State Beaver 7-0. We're looking for our second upset away in the ring. All eyes on us in this nationally broadcasted Pac-12 conference game. Can we pull off the impossible as Oregon State starts out with a touchdown? This is arguably the biggest game since my high school championship game as everybody around the nation wants to see how the Chinese QB will deal with the pressure. First offensive snap of the game. We call play action. I roll to my right. I try to find a corner up, but it is intercepted. The big game woes continue. My ass crack is sweaty. We give up a field goal from that turnover and we are down 10-0 away. Terrible start for us, but I come back and I respond with a dart to my left. Up the seams to my tight end for a 37-yard gain. And then we finish the drive off with a nice little throw on the run to McKee for the touchdown. What a response by Stanford as we head into the third quarter here, 24-10. I love a nice ball over the middle to my boy Wilson, which then I come back with another ball over the middle to the other side. And we end the drive off with an ISO handoff to my boy Harris to make it a one-score game. We are nearing the two-minute warning. Defense needs to get a stop to give us a chance. They lob it up deep to our left side, and who is there? Bust in coverage, wide open, touchdown. Well, I'm not finished just yet. I'm looking deep to get a quick touchdown to make it a one-possession game. And I find a hole up the middle of a cover two for a 48-yard touchdown. What a play. Defense needs to get us a stop as we still have three timeouts. I am praying for another chance on the sideline. The Beavers are going to run the ball here on second and seven. We make a tackle. Coach quickly calls the timeout, and it is now the play of the game. Third and four. They try a bubble screen, and it is picked up. Benjamin Hudson, the inside linebacker, comes up with an interception. So here we go. 56 seconds left. Down by seven away against Oregon State. In the rain against the 12th ranked team. What was I did? Second and ten. I'm looking deep. Nobody open. I roll out to my right, and I throw it away. But I take a huge hit on that play, and I stay on the ground. I landed shoulder first on the turf, and I am out. An injury to my throwing arm in the biggest game of the year. Just so disappointing. Fourth and nine, our final chance to win this game. Can Patu pull it out? He scrambles forward, and he fumbles the ball. Oregon State survives the upset. They come out with a win, and I receive some bad news from our training staff after the game. My shoulder injury was much more severe than originally thought. We are required to have surgery on my shoulder, and I am shut out for the rest of my freshman season. After a rocky up and down season, we end with a 7-6 and six record. I only averaged 2.5 yards per rush. The Stanford play style was definitely not a good fit. The Florida Gators ended up winning the national championship, and we have a decision to make. Do I stick it out for another year at Stanford, or do I enter the transfer portal to a new school with better players, a new coaching staff, a new system that suits my play style better? Do we go all in on our football career and forego academics? We'll have answers to all those questions in the next episode.